Hey guys, welcome to JoJo Cider Reviews and more. I'm JoJo. So my weekend reviewing macro beers continues with another classic. This time I'm going to be reviewing the Champagne of Beers, Miller High Life. Okay, very popular beer in the United States, in the world too, I think. And it's, it's established 1903, it says on the can. But I learned this from Louisiana Beer Reviews. Actually, it goes farther back. You can trace this beer farther back to 1855. And I think it was known as Frederick Miller beer or yeah frederick miller beer and then it wasn't until 1903 where the the new name miller high life uh was changed it was changed to miller high life so it's 4.6 percent alcohol by volume and i feel like the bottles are more popular than the cans you know the the bottles are very they have a very distinct look they have like the kind of the gold wrapper around um you know during the holiday season they have the big uh 750 milliliter bottle champagne bottle so that's uh, fan favorite and it's known as champagne of beers I think at one point it was known as the champagne of bottle beers um, or something like that anyways this is a solid beer um, just you know even just talking about the history and you know out of Milwaukee Wisconsin obviously Miller Brewing Company uh, like I said 4.6 percent alcohol by volume and IBUs I don't think it has too many IBUs here um, we check here seven IBUs and so if you notice on a lot of the bottles nowadays there's a girl on the front a lot of people say that's Frederick Miller's daughter that's on the front again Frederick Miller was the founder of the Miller company and it's under the style of Pilsner but if you go to Beer Advocate it says lager so you know take that for what it's worth um oh so it was originally known as champagne of bottle beers yeah now it's champagne of beers and I just know, you know, going through my 20s, I just, Miller High Life to me always had a little bit more of like a kick to it, you know. So it's also Miller's flagship beer. So, you know, like Budweiser um, is a flagship beer for Anheuser-Busch. For Coors, it's Coors Banquet. For Miller, it's Miller High Life. And I actually learned that from Louisiana Beer Reviews. Um, it's Jay's friend David. He does he does duo reviews with his friend David. Uh, so I learned that from David actually. And this is won a bunch of different categories uh, in competitions. It won a gold medal for American style loggers at the 2002 World Beer Cup. And yeah, it's just wicked. You know, just a classic beer, guys. I'm really looking forward to re reviewing for you guys again. 4.6 percent alcohol by volume. So let's get right into it. This is the last one I have out of it. I think it was a 12 pack that I got, like I said a couple months ago. Oh, by the way, you can see that uh, Miller High Life is known for their carbonation. Um, it's a very crisp beer, and look, you can already tell here, you know, maybe one of the reasons why they called it Champagne of Beers, I assume. Just going with the pour here. Ooh, I get that sweet malty smell right, almost right out of the uh, gate there when I'm opening this can. And look at that, slightly off white head. But look at that, it's about a three finger, I would say. Yep, three finger head or maybe a little bit more. No, about three fingers, I guess. A lot of bubbles slowly streaming up to the surface. I notice some beers, the bubbles kind of come up faster. It's a little bit slow, but there's a ton of bubbles, if you can see that. You can see right through the glass, classic straw colored, um, kind of a yellowish straw gold color. Solid beer, good head retention. It's going for the aroma. Sweet, a little bit of like an earthy, grassy smell. Malty uh, bread, crackers, white bread, reminds me of. Just kind of smells uh, creamy. I don't know, just a uh, little bit of hop kind of bitterness too you get as well. You get that a little more, like I said, oomph. Um, with this with Miller High Life. So without further ado guys, salute. Oh, crisp, clean. Had this uh, in the fridge for a long time. It's very cold. Yeah, just very kind of a distinct flavor, I think, compared to, um, you know, of course, Banquet kind of has that banana the notes of banana from the yeast Budweiser to me is more sweet this is 
<coughs> less sweet, but it has like a, uh, it puts a little bit of the hops I'm tasting, but it has like a full flavor, crisp, clean, a little bit of sweetness, but I feel like not as sweet as, as a Budweiser is, you know, taste the malts there though, for sure. Very crisp, clean in the finish. Um, that is a good beer. Mouthfeel is light and crisp, but has like a decent, doesn't have a very, doesn't have like a watery body, if that makes sense. I know it's like a lager, but it does have some body to it. And really good, you know, like I said, the bottles tend to be more popular. Still a good head retention there. It's kind of um, dissipated a little bit, but it's still a decent amount there. Um, good lacing. Miller products to me are kind of known for their like the thicker head there, especially, especially Miller High Life, you know, um, but just a really solid beer. I think I first tried it maybe when I was 18 or 19 and I always, I always enjoy it. I'm lucky enough to get the cans and bottles out here. So big fan. I'm a big fan of Miller products in general. I tell people a lot, they know, like, they, you know, they know what kind of beer I drink. If I go for, like, light American lagers, I tend to gravitate towards Miller Lite. Just my personal preference. I enjoy Bud Light. I enjoy, I enjoy Coors Light. But to me, Miller Lite has a little bit more flavor. And Miller High Life is not disappointing at all. Um, I don't know if that's the yeast, but it just has more of, like, a full... It's like a full flavor as it's malty and a tiny bit of grassy notes as well. But like I said, get that cracker white bread, very good and totally refreshing. And again, that's why they call it the champagne of beers. With all the lacing there. Um, very sessionable, 4.6%. A um, little less than Budweiser and Coors Banquet. I think they're both at 5%. This is 4.6%. And again, they're flagship beer. And let's go on for a sip. One more sip. Yeah, I'm going to the 90s for this. I'm going to say an A minus, 90 out of 100. Very, very solid beer. Going down very smooth. Um, creamy head as well. Uh, yeah, taste, you can taste a little bit of creamy, creaminess too. Very good. Highly recommend it. I'm sure a lot of you have had it. If you haven't, check it out for sure. Miller High Life. And I thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Salute day.